Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about the Unity Catalog feature in Databricks. Okay, so this is a very hot topic nowadays, and if you are working in a Databricks, you know, using a Databricks, so almost 90 percent or 80 percent companies are using unity catalog this might be the case that your company is using databricks for a long time so they did not migrate it to the unity catalog as of now but moving forward definitely the companies will be migrating towards the unity catalog also okay okay so and uh, this is the first video of this uh, course of this uh, module right so you can see unity catalog so i have to tell you almost every concept of uh, unity catalog in detail so please watch this uh, 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 module till the end you know cover all these videos cover all the chapters because this is a very hot topic and uh, very important topic because if you are beginner in unity unity catalog and if you and if you got a if you if if you get a task to create a unity catalog you may face difficulty so this is the reason i am telling you and this is this is different than the mount point right mount point concept was very easy and this is quite difficult right to set up and to use it is very easy thing right so without unity catalog workspace if you can see over here this one right so here what we have we have different different databricks each databricks have you know user management meta store or we can say hive meta store compute engine and other other thing so now you can think of i have created a one databricks environment or one databricks workspace and in that i have you know uh, you know i have created a set of uh, users or set of uh, uh, you know tables meta store other stuff right and i want to create the and now i want to create the another workspace so i have to do it from scratch because there is no centralized there is no centralized meta store without unity catalog right so let's say you know uh, another another workspace i have to do the same thing now with unity catalog what we could do is that we could create a user management separately and we could and we can create a meta store and these meta store store can be shared with the databricks uh, workspaces different different databricks workspaces right now like what is the application or feature of unity catalog Define one secure everywhere. Unity Catalog offers a single place to administrator, administer data access policy that apply across all the workspaces. So, is in user management, what what we could do? We can create our own policies, right? And we can assign to the different different workspaces from uh, from from the Unity Catalog. A standard compliant security model. Unity catalog uh, security model is based on a standard ANSI SQL and allows administrator to grant permission in the existing data lake using familiar syntax at the level of cat catalogs, schemas, or tables of view. So, see with the help of Unity catalog, we can restrict users to use tables, to use views, or to use uh, you know to use a uh, different thing, right? How we used to do in SQL databases built-in auditing and lineage so what is lineage do you know what is lineage so lineage is something which tells us that you know from where we are getting this data what is the source of it what is the path what is the process how the table is being made so that is already there uh, you know we do not need to write our own code we do not need to write a kind of metadata table right so it is automatically handled by unity catalog right see unity catalog automatically captures captures user level audit logs that record access to your data unity catalog also captures lineage data that tracks how data assets are created and user across used across languages 
right now data discovery unity catalog let you tag let you tag document data assets and provide a search interface to help data consumer find data and this is the system tables unity catalog lets you easily access and query your account operation data including audit log billing usage and lineage like we have a set of system table which is defined which is auto defined by unity catalog or you know provided by unity unity catalog which tells us about the you know how much the billing is how much the time this query is taking and other other information like we used to have in sql databases info i mean information database so the information table schema table or some other tables we used to have it in uh rdbms right so you can link to that now now there is a now there is a very important uh you know uh, 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 structure you know i mean before you know when we when we have uh, why it is not working one minute yep so you can see now we have like meta store one meta store and then in one meta store we have like storage credential external location catalog share recipient provider connection and in one meta store we can have a multiple catalogs and multiple catalogs we have a schema okay multiple schemas we have it and then we have like table view volume model and function so if it is not clear so first let me tell you what is meta store so that you can understand easily and then we moving forward towards the storage credential catalog schema and other things so meta store is the meta store is the top level container for metadata in unity catalog it registers metadata about data and ai assets and the permission that govern access to them for a workspace to use unity catalog it must have a unity catalog meta store attached you should have one meta store for each region in your in in which you have a workspace typically a meta store is created automatically when you create a azure databricks workspace in a region for the first time for some older accounts it is not created by default so you we have to create it we have to assign the workspace in that meta store right very good now if you focus on this picture then you can see we have one meta store and we have like catalog right so we have like dev catalog we have staging catalog okay and in that dev catalog we can have i mean this catalog is assigned to different workspaces you can see so i'll just create a one meta store i can create here a user management create some policies over there and i can assign this meta store i mean i in this meta store i can create a different catalogs and different catalogs i will be assigning to the different workspaces this is for dev workspace this is for uh, staging workspace or production workspace whatever it is right and then this is the groups like who are using this workspaces like developers tester and so so, so we will be doing a practical also to so do not need to worry about it i'm just giving an overview right overview correct and now you come with this so we have meta store we have catalog so you can assume catalog is just a i mean you can assume that catalog uh, it is a kind of database you can assume and we have a schema right what we used to have in rdbms right schemas and inside schemas we used to have a stored procedure we, we used to have view tables so like that you can assume okay but it is not a uh, that database correct and we have like external location okay like uh, uh, adls gen2 location storage credentials we can you know add our here credentials then we have connections share to whom we want to share the these tables this catalog all this stuff so you can say we have one one meta store we can have multiple catalogs okay like you can see in this video in this picture we can have a multiple catalogs and in one catalog we can also have a is multiple schema let's say bronze schema gold schema and uh, uh, silver schema 
right and in each schema we can have table you know table is a tabular data views you can you also know what is view right uh, volume volume i will be telling you model model is a uh, uh, machine learning models and um, function is a user defined functions so see while table provide governance over tabular data set volumes add governance over non tabular data sets you can use volume to store and access files in any format including structured semi structured and unstructured database recommend using volume to govern access to all non tabular data right so we can create a table if we have a kind of file packet file or json file so if we want to assign a governance on top of that then we can store it into a volume instead of table right so i hope that you understood it and moving forward i will be doing a practical setting up a workspace so this is my workspace so this is a community edition so i cannot i cannot uh, create a unity catalog in the community edition so you have you should be ha you you should have a premium subscription so first i will be trying with the trial and premium subscription if it doesn't work then i will go with the pay 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 uh, pay go as model okay uh, so that i will explain you in detail how we can set up a catalog for a company with creating a service principles users groups or many things right so this is the course i hope that you guys are already aware about it so if you want you can enroll in this course if you haven't and moving forward i will be completing more and more concepts like utility frameworks delta life table github actions cicd workflow other stuff okay chalo thank you bye bye and we'll meet you in coming videos stay tuned and uh, take care